tick-tock, it's beer o'clock, so what have you got to lose? Tick-tick-tock, it's beer o'clock, with Slosh and Booze. Uh, hi, this is Slosh. Welcome back to Slosh's fourth ever annual hot sauce and craft beer advent calendar for day number nine. Filmed on the actual day. Today is the 9th of the 12th, 2017. It is 1.18 in the afternoon. I had about an hour break between the last two episodes. And uh, after the last two episodes that I filmed today, um, when we've been having little bits of snifters of things, and I haven't actually looked at this yet, so um, I did some chores, I did some dishes, I did some washing, I did some stuff, and I feel that it is time for another snifter. Prancing Pony Brewery Pale Owl Long Flavor. Uh, you have a website. Uh, so their website is www.prancingponybrewery.com.au. That's right there. I've just realized I've got distracted. We will be, of course, starting with the Boozebud Advent Calendar, www.boozebud.com. And they are awesome. Go check them out. They have a super awesome range. And they are really good people. And they've been supporting us for a long time. Slosh Booze is our code. Get 15% discount. Can't get a discount on the Advent Calendar. Can't buy it anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. Tick, tick, tock. It's Snifter o'clock for beer and stuff. Oh, that sounded... Whoa, I dropped it. Now, how many people out there have prehensile feet? Because it's apparently strange that I pick things up with my feet, but, you know, I've always thought it was fairly normal. Um, so we'll pour this and uh, we'll have a bit of a Snifter and then I'll read it, hey? Pour a nice big glass with lots of bubbles. Look at that. Look at that head. Did that on purpose, I swear. Uh, <laughs> that actually worked way better than I thought it would. Uh, we're at the end of the brew. We are at the end of the brew boil run and could have just stopped here instead sparing no <laughs> hop for tantalizing citrus and herbal flavors. The bitterness is tempered and smooth. Balancing nicely with the maltiness of this long flavor pale ale. The spicy aroma makes the ponies frisky behind the brew shed. Oh, prancing ponies. Frisky ponies. Um, frisky ponies. Dude, it's so good. Brewed and bottled at Prancing Pony Brewery, Adelaide Hills. Did the website already. Prancing Pony Brewery, pale ale long flavor. Pale ale long flavor. 5.5% alcohol per volume. 1.4 standard drinks. 330 mils. No cl no flaws. Nothing like that. Uh, how am I going to have a snifter of this? Smells like bubbles. That's actually pretty good. That's me beer done for, for this uh, episode, I think. Um, that's quite nice. It's definitely a pale ale. It's got all the characteristics that you would associate with a good quality pale ale. Nothing's jumping out at me that's super special. Nothing's like blowing my hair back. Like, nothing's happening like that. Nothing's going on like that whatsoever. Perfectly fine beer. I'm going to go six, tentatively six. Might change it later. Probably. Got. But, um, so since I'm not drinking beer after this, death before decaf. Dr. Paul's. And it is coffee. See? It's coffee. There we go. Ah. Um, all right. So what do we do? We've done the beer website. We've done the beer bud website. We've got some nonsense to do. Some nonsense. Um, oh, no, I've got to talk nonsense, don't I? Talk a nonsense. Have you heard the new Perfect Circle song? It's actually really good. Uh, it's called The Doomed, I think it is. The Doomed Perfect Circle, I think it is. It's actually, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. It's definitely worth checking out. By the way, um, add me on Spotify. Um, I think I am under Josh Sutar. Or I'm not really sure how to find that out. But, uh... Uh. Anyway, um, yeah, search for me. Uh, I do playlists. Um, I used to do a playlist every month. I haven't done that in a while, but I've got a couple of Slosh's Bar and Grill uh, jukebox um, playlists. There's like five or six, and then there's really cool songs there. You should check it out. We're going to do for the Sorcimus, the 
the sauce and the Um We are going to do this one. Remember, ugh, this is getting less heavy as the days go by. We're getting through them and the open sauces in my fridge are becoming plentiful. They're becoming overrun. They're becoming protruding. They're becoming... They're, they're definitely taking over more than their shelf and more than a reasonable amount of space in a fridge. It's a good thing I've got three fridges. Might need just one for hot sauce pretty soon. Um, we are going to be trying from the Queen of Sauces, Sublime Spices, uh, Szechuan Sauce. So this is a multi-award winning sauce from Sublime Spices. You can find them at www.sublimespices.com.au. Right there. That one. Go there. It's great stuff. Uh, Shauna is uh, a lovely, beautiful lady. And uh, her children seem to work for her at her, uh, at her market stalls and stuff. So she's got indentured servants, I guess. Or children that love her. It could be that too. Um, but she's always made pretty good stuff. And I'm quite intrigued by this because I think she recommended that I should try this one. Let's see if I can get the camera to... I don't want to spill it. They get nice. Look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. So let's... Uh... Oh, wow. That smells amazing. I mean, if you just look at that. Doesn't that look unreal? That looks absolutely amazing. The smell is unreal. If I was just going to rate this on the smell alone, I would just be going 10. 10 out of 10. Out of 10. So I'm going to stir this around a bit. Um, and we're going to go... Uh, this might not be as long an episode as some of the other ones have been lately. We've got chores to do. Then I'm going to go pick up the kids and I've got to go into Frio with all my friends and somehow stick to my rationing of three beers, which is why we're having snifters. So that I can actually have a beer tonight instead of none. Rationing, rationing is, a, is hell, you know. It's hell. Especially when you've got an advent calendar and then you have events coming up because it's the festive season. You're like, ah, oh, I'd love to be uh, footloose and fancy free and kick, kick my heels up and, and do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight and all those things. But I'm a, I'm a responsible old man now and I don't have the option to do those things, so... Um, on the ninth day of Christmas, um, Sublime Spices, uh, my true love gave to me, um, Szechuan sauce from Sublime Spices. Let's give it a red hot crack. It smells delicious. Wow. Some of her sauces aren't really the kind of thing that you'd put on a whole spoon. They're more for cooking um, and creating other things with. But that tastes absolutely unreal. Um, ingredients. Water, chilli, onion, tomato, olive oil, soy sauce, white wine vinegar, sesame oil, salt, garlic, coconut, sugar, spices. I I'm going to go taste eight. Eight. Taste eight, because, I mean, I'm going to marinate some stuff in this for a couple of days and see what it comes out like, because that's absolutely unreal. No wonder it's won awards. It's fam the, the, nine. Nine flavor on that one. Nine. Heat. Two. Um, absolutely delicious. Maybe we can have one more snifter. Little snifter. That was delicious. And uh, since I... <sighs> Thank you, Dr. Paul. All right. Today's going to be a little bit shorter than usual, but not hugely shorter, apparently, because it's already at nine and a half minutes. Um, I think I just shut that when I was trying not to. Um, I've found this thing that I can show you guys for question mark if I can get it open. Um, this is the only official container I have for my minifigs. But how cool are they? 
I do have some other minifigs that I could put in there. But I mean, how cool is that? These, they, if you've not seen the Lego minifigs, they, they have different series. And, uh, you know, there'll be like a horror one and whatnot and aliens and, you know, random ones. And I, I really dig the alien guy there. And where's the other one? I like the toxic guy. I really like judges. The judge, I respect the judge. I respect the judge, man. I respect him. Um, but I've been collecting the minifigs for years with the kids. And, you know, you kind of end up feeling the packets to try and hope that you've got the one that you want. Because you can see on the back what there is. Um, but you never know if you've got the right one. So you're sitting there and you're trying to extrapolate into 3D environments and the, the, the bits you can feel. And you look at them and you try and pick the ones that you can definitely tell from the other ones. And these are the coolest little minifigs. I really dig them. Um, I'd love to have a complete collection one day. It would be really, really cool. As I said, we're going to cut this one a little bit short. That sauce is delicious. Nine and two. The beer, six. It, it's perfectly passable. It's a perfectly perfectly passable Prancing Pony pale. But there's nothing that's literally making me go, <gasps> what the hell is in my mouth? Which is not a question you should be asking yourself after drinking. What is in my mouth? You should always know what's in your mouth. Because you should be the one putting it in your mouth. Never let other things that you're not sure of what they are in your mouth. I know that's not advice that I should have to give to people, really. Everyone should know. If you don't know what it is, it probably doesn't belong in your mouth. On that note, I love you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, I think this makes us officially caught up. And I'm so excited I'm going to put some coffee in my mouth. I'm going to answer the question about this uh, tomorrow, Chris. I need to find the uh, paperwork that goes with it. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Love, adventure, excitement. The Jedi craves all these things. Oh, I'll see you guys.